I'm Jeff Dodds, I'm the Managing Director for TalkTalk Talk Mobile based here in the UK. Uh, prior to that I was the Chief Exec for Tele2 in the Netherlands, a telecoms business, mobile and fixed line operator based out in, in Amsterdam. So when I arrived there, the challenge set to me uh, and then by default to the team was to, to build the world's first 4G only mobile network. Um, and we had a few mobile sites that we built um, on arrival early in 2014. And when I left there um, in the first quarter of 2016, it was with a mobile business that had been launched for five or six months, was boasting coverage of around 95 to 100% in terms of population and geographic coverage in the Netherlands, and was rated as one of the, the best 4G mobile networks in the world. So it was, an, it was an amazing mobile network that had been created by the team there in Tele2, and they did an exceptional job, but they wouldn't have managed to do it in that time scale without the support of, uh, of Mentor. So I, I think I look back on my time there as being really exciting, often crazy, um, sometimes stressful, but, but really successful. So Mentor are not really like any consultancy I've worked with before, and I, and I actually hesitate to use the word consultancy because that would conjure images of strategic consultants, people that come in short order, look at your organisation, uh, perhaps give you some guidance strategically about areas you should be looking at, and that is so not what Mentor do. So Mentor, for me, are an organisation that have a lot of experience, a lot of skill, uh, a lot of, uh, I guess you would call industry veterans who have, have been around big projects, big programmes, uh, and delivered them effectively over the years. Uh, and they will come in and look at very large, very complex business critical projects. Uh, and they won't assist you with thinking about them, but they'll assist you with delivering them. They came into the business, did a health check but, but, uh, and an audit really. They spoke to, uh, spoke to senior leadership, also spoke to the people working and operating on the ground, um, then spent a few days really trying to process that information and I guess compare it to, to situations they've been in in the past then came back with a recommendation based on what they thought was achievable uh, and in the timescales they thought it could be delivered and then from there built a plan. One of the things I particularly liked about working with them though was that they, they became part of the team very quickly. So um, the programme director for Mentor on our project reported directly into me. So he became one of my team, sat as part of my leadership team, um, helped and advised across all aspects of the business, but was very clearly accountable for this program. Um, and I think if you went and spoke to the team that he was leading through that program delivery, they would absolutely have viewed them as part of the core Tele2 team, not a consultancy that was coming in to advise and give guidance. Well, I would say that um, in terms of the project, there were a number of things we wouldn't have achieved as a business without Mentor. So um, clearly all CEOs would sit here saying, um, I'd rather not have spent the money, I'd have rather we managed to achieve it faster, but there is no question, we wouldn't have got there in the time that we did without the help of Mentor. So I think you have to be very careful before you start engaging a consultants into your organisation to help deliver what are really key strategic projects. Uh, and you have to decide what's core to your own business and what you need to deliver, and also what's not core and where you need expertise to help you. And I think there was a real hybrid with us and Mentor, which was we didn't have the experience and they did. Um, we also, you know, people don't build mobile operations every year. It's kind of a one-time deal. So it's not an experience uh, or a set of skills that need to be core to your business, you're, unless you're rolling them out for a living. And we weren't rolling them out for a living. On the other hand, the running and the operation of and the maintenance of a mobile network had to be core to our business. And what we were able to agree with Mentor was there are some parts they were going to take accountability for, but we didn't need to transfer the knowledge into the organisation. And there were other parts they would take responsibility for, but we had to build up the knowledge base within the organisation so that when they left, we left an organisation absolutely in control, understanding how to manage that. And I think they got that balance just right. My personal experience, um, I think way too many organisations um, underestimate operational requirements and execution. They just underestimate it. So they look at massive uh, strategic projects and programs that are critical to their success and they assume that their organisation can deliver them uh, without the right people with the right levels of experience and, and the right levels of knowledge. And I think that's a massive gap in most organisations. And I think grown-up organisations realise where they're strong and where they're not and where it's a key strategic strength and where it's not. We all do it for strategy. So if we think we have a strategic gap, we wouldn't think twice about employing a strategic consultancy to come in and help us bridge the gap. But very few organisations think about it operationally and executionally, and I think that's a, that's a big gap. And without question, Mentor are, are great in that space. 
I would sum Mentor up as a, a collective of highly experienced, highly knowledgeable uh, people that have worked in big businesses on very complex uh, programs and projects. Um, they're not like your typical consultancy, uh, and that's not, a, um, that's not a slur on, on a typical consultancy, but they're not typical in the sense they are very executional focused, very operational in the way they work, and very focused on hitting specific milestones. Um, I know from talking to, to the organisational leaders there at Mentor that, that they will not judge a project successful uh, until they've delivered on the milestones of the organisation, and that's why they, they commit to put some of their own um, skin in the game in terms of delivering those. I think you have to be careful when you when you bring an external help to, to the organisation, you do have to be careful because I think for business critical problems, so very large business critical projects, you can't really afford to get them wrong. And, I, and in my experience, too many organisations um, take on really big programmes that are the difference between success and failure in the organisation. And they assume that they're going to be able to deliver them and deliver the projects with their staff with limited knowledge, limited experience. And also those staff are doing things today, they have a day job. Um, so they have a business as usual role they perform as well. Uh, so for me, if I walked into a business that had a massive program to deliver, that was business critical, um, and I didn't believe we had the skills and experience in the organisation, absolutely I would hire them again uh, in a heartbeat, wouldn't, wouldn't think twice about it. I gave them a testimonial on their website um, um, and when people have asked me about um, the value they provided, I, I'd be really happy to recommend them.